Hi, what is up guys? I'm Dom and welcome to another tech review. In today's review, we're checking out something that I think I underestimated. So, this is the Trust Emitter PC or Laptop Streaming Microphone. It's the GXT 252 to be exact. Now, I've been looking for a desktop mic, a new one to replace my Snowball for quite a while now. Hopefully that will be the one that's going to replace it. I'm already impressed by the fact that it comes in this posh case. I was not expecting that. So before we start, if I reach a thousand subs, I'm hoping to do a giveaway. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, like this uh, video and comment down below what you thought of it. Obviously that will help my channel to grow uh, and if I do hit that thousand subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I don't know what the item that I'm giving away is just yet, but hopefully it's going to be something cool. But anyway, let's get to the video. So. The box looks pretty uh, cool. Obviously, it's got the open end here. You got your protection there as well. So it does say it comes with a cardioid pattern, a foam cover, a weight and desk stand, and a 1.8 meter USB cable. Um, other than that. It states that it's a professional USB studio mic in a 5 case with high precision cardioid recording pattern for streaming, podcasting, voiceovers and acoustic music. Got loads of other things there. Uh, in terms of specifications, it's a USB connector with a frequency range of 20 to 20.000 Hz. You got your max SPL of 135 decibel. It's cardioid, so it's facing towards you. The sampling rate is 16 bit at 48 kHz. It's got a 1.8 meter cable and it's got a metal desk stand. And it comes with a shock mount, pop filter, and fight case. So, without further ado, let's have a look at what is inside of the box. So the funny thing is that the box barely fits my camera mounting system for the unboxing but that's not an issue. Let's have a closer look at the box, that's what it looks like. Obviously all your specs are at the back. It actually looks extremely good quality but obviously we'll be the judge of that. Let's open it. I'll show you that opening. I don't even know. This way. Building champions. I like that. <laughs> nice and simple. And I have to say, actually. Uh, the mic inside of this amazing case does actually look of it's actually really heavy um, compared to especially my snowball so let's have a look at what's inside moment of truth hopefully I have it the correct way up oh wow so obviously that's the mic it's a lot smaller than I was expecting uh, put that to the side that's part of it and uh, so yeah so that is a USB cable that's the stand wow this is really heavy so the pop filter is in here ah uh, there it is now if you've been following me for a while 
Obviously, I absolutely adore when manufacturers include their stickers. It shows a sense of pride in their brand, which I really adore. I absolutely love that. So you've got some legal information here. You've got a user guide here. I mean, it shows you sort of how to set it up, I would imagine. Yeah. And how to build it. Put it to the side. So your pop filter is here. It's got the GXT logo on it, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, put that to the side. And here's the heavy part, and that's obviously the stand. So I'm now going to build this. Obviously, there's nothing under here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to build this, see how I get along, I guess. So yeah, let's have a closer look at the mic. The mic itself does actually feel pretty weightened as well. So obviously, it's going to have to be good quality for that. Got your Trust Gaming logo here. Your USB connection goes there. Okay, so that's the mic. So this here is obviously the stand. And I've no idea what I've done with the pointy thing. There's the pointy thing. I would imagine that that just screws on like this. I haven't actually read the instructions. Maybe I should do that first. There's the mic stand and shock absorber. Um, I would imagine that... That would go down. Just like so, and then the mic, uh, maybe loosen that up first, I think, not really sure. And there you have it. Right guys, so I'm currently speaking through my Razer Kyo webcam. Obviously the mic's been set up and it has been plugged in. Uh, but I haven't selected it as a device, so I'm now going to do that. Okay, so I'm now talking through the Trust mic. As you can see, I don't currently have a pop filter connected. Oh, to be fair, it is connected, it's just not in, um, well, nowhere near me. Uh, I'm just going to put the pop filter there. So this is what the mic would sound like with the pop filter on it. I'm now going to put the cover on it to see what that sounds like and what sort of difference that makes. So bear with me a sec. Okay, so this is what the mic sounds with the cover put on. Now, I have literally no idea what the mic sounds like outside of uh, while well, recording it now. I haven't yet heard it, uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to listen to it and give you my verdict. Yeah, so I've been using this mic for over two weeks now and the quality of the recordings is extremely good. I can actually say that it's possibly the best mic I've ever owned. In terms of usage, I've been using it for streaming, I've been using it for presenting video conferences via Teams and making videos for you guys. And honestly, I really like it. Thumbs up from me. 
if you liked this uh, mic yourself if you want to get it I'll link it all down below now just a reminder that once I hit the thousand subscribers I will be doing a giveaway